This week, um, I want to address a political subject, really, um, about trade, and particularly about tariffs. This is a new development for some, uh, because the last 20, 30 years, uh, the global trend has been towards globalisation, uh, the dropping of trade barriers, um, and more recently we've seen a return to protectionism uh, in various parts of the world, most notably of course in, uh, in the USA, which is odd really because when President Trump came to town it was on the basis of being very friendly to business and um, you know, relieving the burden of regulation, making it easier for businesses to make money and businesses responded very favourably to that. I think it was very telling that when President Trump announced uh, the imposition of tariffs on imports, particularly from China, quite hefty tariffs as well. Um, it, those same trade associations that had applauded earlier moves were the very first to say, whoa, hold on a minute, what are you doing here? This is going to make our lives um, more difficult. It's going to make your products more expensive. It's going to put Americans out of work. It's not a good idea. Well. Um, that may be so, and I think uh, the administration has backtracked a little on that. It could also backfire, because of course the other thing that uh, President Trump has been very keen to promote, and he was certainly on this case when he was over in Europe recently, uh, was on finding markets for US LNG. Now, uh, one of the things that China is uh, threatening to retaliate with is uh, tariffs on US natural gas supplied as LNG. Um, they do have a big advantage, of course, in that they've got Australia not so far away, and Australia is also building new LNG projects like Bilio. So I think th this is the risk of a uh, protectionist approach. If you make it hard to do trade with certain countries, they will go elsewhere. And I think uh, it's, it's, it's distressing for the rest of the world to see that this is happening because there's a threat that retaliation will just make it harder for everybody around the world to do business. Uh, I hope I'm wrong, but we'll see. You know, minds have been changed before.